Hi, uh, my name is Tasfahun Alamu. I am a postdoc research scholar at uh, Cornell University. Uh, today I will uh, present for you how to analyze data obtained from uh, RSVD design uh, with uh, multiple traits. So for this, to analyze uh, uh, data obtained from uh, RCVD designs, we need uh, these uh, packages, uh, LME4 uh, to fit the model, MME means to produce the uh, mean, uh, what the predicted mean data of the bloom, uh, and the table which is used for uh, generate the table and then uh, multi-comp, which is used to uh, have a compact uh, letter display. So first, if you don't have uh, this package, uh, you should install it. So after installing, in order to start your uh, analysis, first you should load uh, this package. This package. And then uh, the next step will be uh, to set your working directory. So set your working directory. You can do uh, by giving uh, the path of uh, your directory where your data is available and also uh, where you want to uh, save uh, your output result. So one, one way is to give the direct path and then use the set working directory a function. The other one is you can go here in the mm, uh, in this environment. You can go to the file, and then from the file, you can search for uh, where your data is found. In my case, here is uh, my data is found uh, the in the desktop. So from the desktop, uh, no, sorry. Uh, my data is found here in the documents, and from the documents I put in uh, the uh, our training uh, video for uh, to be posted. So after that, I will go to here on the setting, and then I will set as working directory. So this one also work. That also, uh, you can set your working directory uh, by giving the direct path. So the next step will be read the data. So uh, in this case, we, I have uh, the data saved in CNCV. So this data will be read as using the read CSV, and we have the header, and also the data is separated with scope. So I can read the data. And the first step you could do is check the summary of the statistics. So sometimes it will give you a good informative information that give you uh, the minimum, the maximum, the interquartile, the first interquartile, the second, the median. That's really very interesting information that will uh, understand if it's aligned with your uh, data, what you have been expected. The second step will be uh, identify the factor variable that should be changed uh, as a factor in the model. So in this case, in our uh, data, since it is a design RCVD, we have two factors, that is uh, rep and genotype. So I will uh, change to factor. And the third step will be uh, to list uh, uh, the number of plates uh, sh that should be analyzed. We are going to be analyzed. So we will, in this case, I have uh, five traits, that is DH, DM, pH, plant height, KW, and granite. So I will uh, give uh, this uh, list, and then I will put as a vector. And then uh, the fourth step will be to check the structure of the data, if it is, uh, everything is in place. So here we will see that the uh, the factor variable were selected, the append genotype is already changed as factor, and the rest will be the, uh, the traits are numeric or integer, so it is good. So the next part is define the mathematical model for this analysis, the RCBD. So we have uh, 
the observed value mean plus block effect plus genotype effect and uh, error uh, associated with this observation. So the next step is to prepare for the analysis. So in this case, the first one is we should create a table that we are going to store the output of the data, especially in this case, I'll show you how to save the mean value, the blue value. So this table will create an NPT uh, table with zero uh, number of row for uh, to save the data. So if you check it, we have a table with zero column and, and zero row. And the next step is I create this uh, script. This script is a for loop. So this for loop is uh, uh, designed in order to analyze each thread from the collection of the thread, take each thread and then put in the mathematical model and evaluated by this operation. And then after evaluated, the ANOVA will be uh, taken and uh, the ANOVA uh, output will be uh, used to predict the LS means. And then in this case, uh, the genotype mean. And then if you are interested to see the compact letter display or the letter of display, you use this compact letter display function and you save it. And finally, in order not, in order to uh, not to lose the thread, so we add uh, a thread column and then we assign it. The thread evaluated here will be assigned here. So we will have uh, the mean value uh, and the less, the less, less mean value plus uh, the compact uh, display letter and then uh, uh, the description of the thread will be available. So finally, this output will be saved in the table we already created the app. So in this case, if you consider this part, this part is always uh, the model or the formula always we are using to analyze a single thread analysis. So especially if you see, if you substitute this thread by any thread you, are, you have, you will get analysis output. So what I did is only I automate uh, the analysis based on uh, the number of thread I have. So in order to do that, this uh, operation will be uh, conducted. So now we can analyze it. So the analysis is done. So now if you check for the output of the blue mean here, what we have been saved. So this is the output. So the output, if you see it, the output is organized like this. We have the genotype name, we have the LS mean, we have the standard error, we have the degree of freedom, lower limit, upper limit, the, uh, the compact letter display, the, the group, and then the trait. So the trait will be listed like this. So we have this five trait will be analyzed here. Then the next step is in order to see if you are interested to see the genotype by trait table, we can use reshape library reshape. So from the library reshape, we have uh, the function called decast. So this function decast will help us to take the long type of the data into the wide type of the data. So the formula here we provided is we uh, give him make the row the genotype name and then the column and the thread name. So like this, can is the function mean, and then we take the value of this LS mean, the LS mean value here, and then he will take the genotype, and then the thread here will be help us to design our table. So if we run in this one, we'll have this output. So since we have the genotype, the dice to heading, dice to maturity, grain yield, plant height, and thousand kernel weight. So finally, if you are interested to save this output to your computer as a CSV file, you can save it like this, by CSV. We give the blue mean wide, and uh, we, we give the name blue mean wide dot CSV, and then uh, row name false because we don't want to take this 
uh, the wrong name here and that's not uh, interested for us so we will write this one so it will save in our output so in, in case if you are interested to save both uh, the blue mean this one the blue mean we save here and the blue mean white genotype by trait two together we can uh, make like this first we save these two files blue mean white and the blue mean as a list file so as output and then we can use the, punk, the package called library uh, open xlsx and then we use the function write xlsx then for this function as x and now you give the output we save this is the list file and then we can give the file name the <coughs> the the Excel file name we are interested to save in our uh, in our uh, in our computer. So in addition, we can say row uh, names. Also, I think if you are interested to uh, say uh, not to save the row name here, so I will run and already now the excel file is saved here so if you check for it you can see how the excel file is organized so you can see the output so with that uh, we end our today's presentation so i will see you by my next follow-up uh, presentation how to do the combined multi environment tri trial and uh, with multiple trait analysis using RCVD. Thank you very much. See you.